Hello people, so in this video we take up all the previous year gate questions related to conversions topic of number system. Look at the first question. You are given that root 224 and the number system in which this number is given has base R. And this is equal to 13 in the same base, same base R. So they are asking the value of the red X. Base is also known as red X. They are asking the value. Okay. Let us look at this problem. I am not writing the base of the number system. You already know that the base is R. Okay, so I am squaring. Squaring both sides. So this becomes 224. And this side becomes 13 into 13. Which is going to be 169. And this side it's going to be 224. Both these numbers are in base R. Now let us apply the conventional formula. We know that if we want to convert this number into decimal number system, we have to multiply with the respective weights of each bit. So what we get is 2R square plus 2R plus 4 is equal to R square plus 6R plus 9. I am just rearranging this to make a single equation. So this becomes r square minus 4r minus 5 is equal to 0. I am going to factorize this equation just to find the value of r. Okay, so I am getting two values for r which are minus 1 and 5. Since all of us know that the base of a number system cannot be negative, so we neglect this answer. So the right answer is going to be 5. You see, there is an option 5. So this is the right answer. Also, you can verify your answer by converting both these numbers into decimal number system. And see, uh, we are going to check it quickly. See, 224 base 5 in decimal number system is going to be 2 into 25 plus 2 into 5 plus 4 I am doing it quickly it comes out to be 64 in base 10 and we all know root 64 is 8 ok now look at the RHS 13 in base 5 this is going to be 5 plus 3 which is 8 fine so this means that our answer is correct Okay, one more thing that you can see here is root 64 I have written 8. Some of you might be thinking that root 64 must be plus minus 8. So, uh, this concept is not related to number system but a general mathematics concept I would like to take. When you write x square is equal to 4 and when you write x is equal to root 4, these are two different things. Okay, see you already learned that a equation with power n has n roots. We learned this in childhood, right? So here this equation is having power 1, degree 1. So this has to have one root only. And this has degree 2. So this must have two roots. So here you can write x is equal to plus minus 2. And here what do you get? You get x equal to 2 only. You should not write plus minus 2 here. What is the logic behind this? See, uh, take it to the other side. Take this. So it becomes x square minus 4 equal to 0. Which you can write as x plus 2, x minus 2 equal to 0. Which gives x equal to plus minus 2. But if you are, ha if you are supposed to take root of 4, you should give the answer only as 2. This is not related to number systems anyways. But since here you have got this root 64, you should write only 8. You should not write plus minus 8. Okay, uh, let us move at the next question now. They are asking the binary equivalent of the decimal value 0 0.25. Uh, this has been asked in gate in 2002. So, uh, let us look at this question. Uh, so look at the integer part of the given value the integer part is 0 so the binary representation for 0 is going to be 0 ok so the integral part of the binary representation is going to be 0 and what do we do for the fractional part you are going to multiply it repeatedly with do with 2 
so let's just start this 0.25 into 2 is going to be 0 0.50 the integral part that you're getting from this is 0 and you take the fractional part here you get 0.5 here and then you again multiply it with 2 what do you get 1 so you've got a complete integer so we stop here right and we move this way so what is the final answer going to be 0 0.01 which is option B okay look at the next question now you are given that 73 in base X is equal to 54 in base Y and they are asking for the possible values of X and Y uh, just convert these numbers into decimal number system first then you can write this as 7x plus 3 and at RHS you get 5y plus 4 so just rearrange you get 7x minus 5y is equal to 1 ok now the only way to solve this question is to check with the options you keep the values of the options and check which option is going to satisfy this equation since you have only one equation you can check uh, one more way to check is the minimum base that this number system must have should be 8 because this is having 7 as a digit 7 is a symbol used in this number system base x number system so this number system must have base equal to or greater than 8 but see all the options are having values of x greater than 8 only so this does not apply here also y must be greater than or equal to 6 all the options are having values of y greater than 6 so you check with the options keep x is equal uh, x equal to 8 and y is equal to 16 and check with all the options you will get the answer as d just verify okay now look at the next question this question was asked in gate in 2004 for two marks this was asked okay uh, so we've already talked about this look at the basis of the all the numbers we have to convert a number of base 8 into numbers of base 16 and 4 so we already know the trick when we have bases in powers of 2 we are going to first convert this number the given number in base 2 that is we are going to convert it into a binary number from there we convert it into base 16 and base 4 so uh, let's just look at this we are first going to convert this into a binary number so we have already learned this when we have to convert an octal number into a binary number we are going to represent each digit with three bits in a binary so what is the you can start from msb or lsb ok in converting from octal to binary it does not matter you start converting from msb or lsb here I am starting from the MSP. One representation of 1 in binary in 3 digits is going to be 0, 0, 001. For 2 it is going to be 0, 1, 0. 3 is going to be 0, 1, 1. 4 is 1, 0, 0. 1 is 1, 0, 1. And 6 is 1, 1, 0. So this is the representation of the given number in binary. Now to convert it into a number of base 4, you have to to create groups of two bits each we've already learned this logic 4 is 2 to the power 2 that's why we are going to create group of two bits each starting from the LSP right we've discussed about this in our previous videos you can check if you have not seen and 16 is 2 power 4 so we are going to create group of 4 bit, uh, bits each starting from the LSB uh, let's first see uh, for the base 4 I am going to create group of 2 bits starting from the LSB so 0 1 is 2 1 1 is 3 0 1 again 2 0 0 is 0 1 1 is 3 1 0 is 1 0 1 2 2 0 check in the options so this what we have done is this is a number of base 4 just check check in the options which uh, option you are getting so this can be the right option A can be the right option B cannot be the correct options and uh, C can be the right option and D cannot be the right option so now we have to check between A and C 
to check between A and C, I am going to convert the same number into base 16 into a number of base 16 ok so for that I am going to create group of 4 bits starting from the LSB see this is going to be one group so what is 110 going to represent in a hexadecimal number system so this number is equal to 14 and 14 as we know is represented by E ok then uh, create one more group this is going to be 2 this is going to be 7 this is going to be A 10 this represents 10 and 10 is represented by A now we have two zeros left so you know 0 if, also if you append two zeros it's going to be 0 this is insignificant so the number that you got is A72E in hexadecimal number system so the correct option is A let us look at one more uh, question this question was asked in 2005 for one mark in gate examination. Okay, so what are they asking? They are asking for the hexadecimal representation of a number which is given in octal number system. So you know the trick, right? You are going to convert this number into binary first and then from there we convert it into hexadecimal. So let us quickly look what is going to be the binary representation for the given octal number. 6 can be represented as 110, 5 is 101 and 7 is 111. So this is the binary representation of the given number. Now to convert it into hexadecimal we are going to create groups of 4 starting from the LSP. The procedure remains same. 1111 is F. 1010 is 10 which is represented as A. Now you have one bit left, so I am going to append some digit bits. I am appending three zeros. So 0001 is 1. So what is the hexadecimal equivalent of the given number? It's 1AF. Right, so A is the correct option.